Um, for me, um, I do, when I train, I actually do more drills than what I do just practice. Like, like I think, I think every shot that we play on the green, the better we get at it is by doing it more often. So even if it means I'm out there for half an hour just running and just driving, but generally if I'm playing on a weekend and what didn't go so well that weekend, I will hammer that at the start of the week just to iron that one out and then bring it in and corporate it in at the end of the week with your strengths. So so whatever my work ons are or or that's a, and so you gotta debrief how your yourself within yourself of however your previous weekend went with your shots. Um, whatever didn't go so well, I will do the drills around based around that. Um, I like I like really working on anything between uh, sort of two feet to two yards, like that that weight, um, and, and really executing that space. I think that there's, uh, for us back-end players or in New Zealand, I think the one area where if we can lift generally around a conversion ratio percentage, I think there's a space there that if we can lift those levels higher, um, I think a, a few results can change. Um, against some some real decent size when we go away so it's just it's just getting out there and doing that um, but that's one of my favorite ones um, and then I like doing um, sort of uh, between the, these two jacks so we, we set them up um, obviously a meter apart and you've got to sort of like caterpillar them in a row between the two you've got to beat the next one if you land in the middle you halve your space so you can challenge yourself by the distance of how far away the jacks are. Obviously, uh, people that are learning, they can spread that those jacks out wider or longer so they get more distance. But I like to I like to keep them tight so you just, uh, the challenge is a bit more. So yeah, it is, <coughs> I do have some favorite drills, but it's, I think the point is more about practicing every shot on the game. So as Shane has articulated and, and one of the things that we did in the weekend in a coach coaching course that Graham Reese and I did was uh, drawing to an off centre jack and we asked the group that we were working with do you ever see this being practiced? No. <laughs> Why not? How often does the jack get moved in a, in a game? Fairly regularly. So that's an example of a type of drill that you might want to put in place. Um, drawing to the ditch I don't think there are enough people particularly backing players that actually practice that. And again, that's just a simple drill that you can set up maybe for 15 minutes at the end of your session. And my old favorite, the jack throwing drill for singles players and front end players. We, look, I can't hammer that enough. <laughs>